What's up everybody, OGP, back with you for another video. As you can see, I am at Zia Records in Las Vegas, Nevada, over here on Rainbow Road. We're gonna go inside Zia and see if we can come up on some, I don't know about rare and out of prints. I just look for movies I like. I'm no fluffy gamer, I'm no wet one. I just look for movies I like in Zia, because that's what I do. Let's go check it out. Feeling it. It has been a while since I have broke out this particular song right here, but uh, had to do it. Had to do it for this video. It's been a while since I've done like a semi-traditional, old-school Goodwill Hunter movie or game hunting video as we used to do. But yeah, here we are looking at the horror section, and I forgot my list at home, and so once I got to Vegas, I was like, you know what? We'll go looking and we'll see what we see. Just kind of scan through everything. And if something stands out, I will pick it up. But uh, yeah, no list. And that always makes it tough for me because I, I do rely heavily on that list. When I don't have the either, you know, it's a combination of movies that I've just heard about through the grapevine or whatever, plus a lot of the titles that you all have recommended if I don't have that list, I'm in big trouble. I just, I can't remember anything. So I scan through, see what they got. Uh, here, so far, a lot of like regular titles that you see all over the place. Nothing too, too crazy that got me going, but Truth or Dare is a great movie. If you haven't seen that, highly recommend it. Yeah, it seems like the uh, Blu-ray section here for horror has gotten quite a bit smaller over here at this particular Zia on Rainbow. But, the, you know, the um, 4K section has gotten bigger, so that's good. But here we are now over this classic horror section, checking out some of these titles, kind of stuff they recommended, like the uh, people that work there, some of the things they recommended for the Halloween season, and Zombie Holocaust. That is one that at the time I was like, I don't think I own this. Maybe I'll pick it up. And I got home and I do not own it. So I should have picked it up, but it wasn't, as you could see, in that great a shape. So I did end up passing on it. Um, you know, 10 bucks for a DVD, I was like, ah, I don't know. But uh, nothing really too remarkable here some interesting titles that if the price was kind of right like you couldn't pass up maybe I would have grabbed something off this shelf here but a lot of good stuff but either stuff I had or just the price wasn't right got sleepaway camp down there good old Phyllis a rose flick and here we go always you know how I do it we have to check out the monopoly games to see if they've got anything new I own like a Goonies. I have the, the, it's like Life, I think, or something, but it's like a Dexter game. But I have Breaking Bad and The Sopranos, uh, like a Mario Kart, like a few other Monopoly games. So I always love to look and see which ones they have. And I got Superman down there, looks pretty cool. Well, this is kind of cool. They got some masks. Look, you got over here Captain Spaulding, Trick or Treat, all kinds of cool masks up here. Perfect for this time of year. Look at this Rockefeller Records. Is that who's that was that signed by Jay-Z? Wow, oh thousand dollars. They got Run DMC up there signed. And that's pretty good because you meet Run DMC, they'll take pictures with you, but they don't like to sign. More Jay-Z stuff. Lots of autographs up here. And yes, we are currently being Rickrolled. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be getting anything today. Uh look for a few things and they just don't have what I'm looking for, but uh that's the way it goes. We're moving on. Maybe we'll do the other Zia or um another store who knows we'll see but let's go well now 
Uh, you didn't see him before because he was on an important phone call a little while ago, but uh, Mr. Matt Matt is here with me, and now we're going to walk into the Dollar Tree, which is right next door to the Zia, see if Dollar Tree has loaded up some Blu-rays. Give my thumbnail picture here. Oh, look at that. Look at these sexy mofos. Oh, yeah, Dollar Tree, baby. Two displays should have temporarily out of helium. Ah, that's all right. Hello. Let's go see. Oh, they have moved stuff because they were like right in the front on these aisles. Mission Impossible. I don't know where their movies went. Used to be right up front. They're not no more. I'm sure they got some. They used to be like right. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, there you go. They just don't have that many. That's what it is, unfortunately. Ta da! Not one Blu ray. Bummer! Godzilla, King yeah. of the Monsters. Oh, enjoy. Thank you. Can't win them all. Maybe we'll stop at another Dollar Tree some uh sometime during this video but uh no dice there anyways we're out of here uh what do you know we're over here at savers savers suck it fluffy gamer they got a new sign look at that savers oh yeah oh yeah look at that 10 disc dvd set yeah kind of nicey are they maybe grouped by the actor that played Bond at the time or something? But they're DVDs. They've been, they've been, Bond's been getting really nice releases lately, new. So, uh, uh, never been the biggest the Bond fan, but yeah. Usually they put like maybe like five bucks yeah. on it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a lot of movies and they're Bond. Somebody will come along and buy them at some point. Bonus Let's materials, see. I will. Yeah. Sign. Mm. Chicago. Mm, mm, mm. Lots of DVDs. These savers. People need to start donating Blu-rays. Oh, here's some Blu-rays. Let's see what we got over here. Spy. So good. Harry Potter. Focus. Hereafter. Nah. Fitty fitty. Damn yeah, good. Oh, there's Arthur. Oh, Super Troopers. Ha 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 ha. I don't own that, but I think I'm all right. Yeah. The great. Oh yeah, uh, people probably bought them out of the clearance bin, watched them, or done with them. What's going on here? Ah, ah, map, map. Oh, Dane Cook. This guy is the Burger King. Oh, Wedding Crashers. That's a funny damn movie right there. We got oh the Italian job that's a good one. I already got that though. Nah, not having much luck today. That's the way it goes. All right. Bye, this is the savers. Look, we just uh, driving around here in Vegas, and there's a fucking rocket taking off over here. Look at that crazy fucking light through the haze. That's what fucking rockets do. Look at look at the find the trail all the way over there, coming from that way on the, on the fucking light. So it's coming from like Vandenberg Air Force Base. Where is it going? Where are you going? Like SpaceX or something? What's up with that? That's cool. Didn't expect to see a rocket taking off today. Time for a break from movie hunting. I've been wanting to check out this Area 15 for a while and uh, Matt has been here once so we're gonna go 
in here. Matt's gonna kind of show me around because he's seen it so we can figure out what to expect. Maybe Cinestalker and I, maybe Wet Movie 1 could come back here one of these days and really do it up. But we're just gonna stop in here and check it out tonight before we continue our hunt for physical media goodness. Look at this thing. <laughs> like a like super hot rod or something. Please don't climb on it. That's crazy. It doesn't look like it actually works, but that's pretty cool looking. I don't know if you can really grasp what that is here. Like a vehicle kind of looking thing. Imagine driving down the road on that. What's going on over here inside like a storage container here? What is this? Infinity number one perception. What? Oh, here we go. Into this infinity. Oh yeah, look, there we are. Ah. Uh. It just keeps going. Get your boogie on, right? That's crazy, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're somewhere around Barstow and the drugs began to take hold. <laughs> so that's cool. It looks like it looks like you're in infinity there, but it's really a storage trailer. That's cool. And now what are we looking at here? A rubit? Oh, it's a robot. Oh, like, but he's dead. Yep. <laughs> it's a giant dead robot here. Well, that's hilarious. Those, like, feet are in the ground. <laughs> that's cool. Giant dead robot. Is there something in there? Oh, what? What? I don't know what's going on in there. That's funny. Oh, there's his face over here. Dead robot. Hi, dead robot. Well, now I guess we're gonna go inside this building right here, Area 15. Is that where we're going? Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, 15. They got a 15. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this. We're in a spaceship now. That's cool. Oh. And suddenly it gets warm in here. That's kind of cool. Wow, check this place out. What? A gigantic skull. Oh, and so, like, if you had tickets, like, these are, like, the things you would, you have tickets, you, like, go uh, do some of those events or something, or? Yep, yep, they're all different experiences and events. Okay. The cool one is that light show right up there. It's like the museum, whatever. Um, oh, museum yeah. fiasco yeah, up there? A, yeah, for 15 bucks. You can, per person, you can get into that museum fiasco. Okay. I got Haley's Crazy. Comet over here. Scary uh, 15. Oh, because like uh, decorated for like Halloween with all the skeletons and stuff here, huh? That's cool. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at these guys. What are you doing over here? What are you doing over there? I'm going to get coffee. I'm going to get some toys. Ah, check that out. Oh, they got a haunted mansion over here. That's cool. There's Omega Mart. Oh, is that what it is? Omega Mart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, I, oh, okay. Oh, but it's like a fake grocery store, right? Right. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like oh, that's cool. Oh, he got a directory right here. That's cool. They got like dead people hanging from the ceiling here. Ha! Huh. Like a bar or something in there? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, look at this tree right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rocket fizz. What? What's rocket fizz? Oh, yeah. Oh, a candy shop. Nice. Well, now we're going to head upstairs and check out some of this stuff. All kinds of stuff up here, too. Well, that provides for a really cool view of everything down there. Look at that. Ah. Very cool. Look at these guys. What the heck are they doing? What the heck is that? That's awesome. There goes another one. That's kind of like a like a zip line kind of thing. That's cool. A brainstorm. Reality game. Oh, that's cool. I'm good on virtual reality stuff. So these guys about to take off on this Haley's Comet thing. Oh. Where did they go? So I wonder, they just go around here once? 
I'm just kind of flying around. Uh, those things must be motorized or something to yep. keep them going. Some of the artwork and goofiness looks like all kind of chaotic. Oh yeah, there's the dead robot out front. But just all kinds of craziness. Looks like graffiti and stuff, but it's really just stuff that's going on here. Emporium Arcade Bar. Here we go. Let's check this place out. Yeah, this place was pretty cool. All kinds of arcade games, pool tables, uh, pinball machines. It's a pretty cool pinball machine. It's like Metallica, uh, Sopranos, and Terminator. Lots of cool stuff, fun uh, games to be played here. And of course, a nice selection of adult beverages up there, which were like semi-reasonably priced actually. That place is cool. Cinestarker and I have been thinking about coming here for a while. I think even Wet Movie wanted, wanted to come check it out. But uh, the Fluffy Gamer is like, eh, I don't want to walk, so we didn't come here. But uh, we need to come back when the guys are here and do some of these experiences. We just kind of came tonight to check it out. Didn't buy any tickets or anything. Uh, we got stuff to do still. We have to get to Zia Records because we haven't bought anything yet today. What? What? How, how have I been out movie hunting and I haven't bought anything yet? This is insane. So let's go over to Zia Records right now. Boom, Zia number two, here we are. Hopefully I have better luck than the other Zia and Dollar Tree and Savers, because uh, those didn't pan out at all. Well, what are you gonna do? But it's dark now, let's get inside uh, Zia, for because it's getting kind of scary out here, you know, I'm afraid of the dark. There we go, in to Zia Records. Put on my granny goggles so I can see what I'm looking at. Well, that's, uh... oh God, that's a one guy. Captain Spaulding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who's on my shirt. <laughs> that's right. He's the guy that's on my shirt. And here we go. Look at this bin. This actually had a bunch of cool stuff in it. Uh, things that, like, I picked up a few. A few went back. A few went with me. But I had a fun time looking through this bin right here. But I got to shout out my main man, Balzer77. You know I couldn't get through this video without going with the good old Irish music. <laughs> but yeah, hey, shout out to all the channel members. You all rock. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, uh, I, you know, I appreciate everybody that's watching and uh, hanging out and having some fun as we goof off and look for movies and just kind of enjoy life here. It's a nice little break from reality doing stuff like this. So anyways, I just, I appreciate all of you no matter what, but uh, you know, those that have, uh, you know, dipped into their pockets to support the channel, uh, you know, that really, really means a lot to me. So I just want to give a shout out to you all there, but so many cool titles in this bin here. And some of the prices were great. Some were not so much, but uh, this is, it seems like it's kind of the new bin when they get things in, they just kind of throw it in here. Uh, kids was great. I do own kids. So I was like, you know, I'm going to check the price and uh, they wanted like 15 bucks for that one. So it's, that's pretty fairly priced. So I wouldn't have been able to sell it had I, you know, picked it up or, um, you know, just, it wasn't like a deal. So I ended up not getting that, but this Nintendo quest that's one that I've kind of been interested in seeing, but like not really. And I think like for 15 bucks, ah, you know, I ended up passing on it, but um, it, it, it might be a fun watch one of these days. But this right here caught my eye. Love me some Ewok adventures, but they wanted 29 bucks for this. And I wound up finding a second copy of it, both of them for $29. And I just held on to them because I wasn't sure what they were going for. And uh, you you can order Ewok Adventures, you know, with both shows online, uh, like off of eBay. You can get them for, I don't know, 10 bucks or so, maybe even less. So I wound up getting uh, neither of those. But uh, still a fun bin. A lot of cool stuff that I don't normally see at Zia Records in here. So it was, it was fun. I, I'm not sure if, like I said, if this is somewhere where the new, uh, th you know, titles they get in from trades and stuff. I'm not sure if this is where they just wind up right off the bat or what, but that was fun. 
But you know I have to do the whole Roarer section, right? This I just got for four bucks off of Amazon. Four dollars on Amazon. Yeah, and shout out to whoever it was that posted about Midsummer being on sale on Amazon for four bucks. But I did order me a copy of that and should be receiving it uh, any day now. And here we go, just kind of looking around, looking at some horror DVDs and checking out the Monopolies up top there. You got to look at the Monopolies. Well, I got a few things in hand. Still looking around a little bit more. Get out to the car and show you what I got in just a minute. Lots of goodness up here, including the good old Halloween Michael Myers action figure. Yeah, I, I don't feel like contributing to that franchise right now. <laughs> uh, not after what they did to us. Although Grogu, what up Grogu? Another Grogu. But the Office, that was kind of a cool like little tea set or something. They got a Fast and the Furious game though. Not my cup of tea, not a fan of that franchise. Although the Haunted Mansion, do love me some Haunted Mansion and Disney stuff. I just can't see myself playing that game. And it's not a Monopoly, so passed on it. Hello Kitty Monopoly, Dr. Seuss Monopoly, some good stuff there my daughter may be interested in. Maybe Christmas gift ideas, who knows? Walking out of Zia Records with a few movies here. I used my points and there was a sale. Actually, I didn't realize uh, one of these was, uh, it was buy three, get one free. So I got one free and used my points. So I got one, two, three, four, five movies for a total of 20 bucks. Average of $4 a piece. Let's hop in the car and I'll show you what I got. Like I said, five movies and for a total of 20 bucks, which is, so this is cool. Ice Pirates, uh, they didn't have it on DVD or Blu-ray in there. I don't know if it ever got a Blu-ray release. So I was like, you know what? Eight bucks for Ice Pirates. Good deal. You ever seen this movie? Uh, nope. Never yeah. seen it. Never even heard uh, of it. Yeah, no, and it has, gosh, uh, Sloth, right? Yeah, yeah. John Matusse, yeah. So Ice Pirates, I did not have a copy. I thought, you know what, what the heck? And then I saw The Devil, one of the greatest, most messed up horror movies of all time for $1.99. Can't beat that price. That's freaking awesome. That's cheaper Love than it. if you found it at uh, Goodwill or something. Yeah, it, it really is now. Buck ninety nine for I saw the devil. This is a must own movie, and uh, I was very glad to pick that up for a dollar ninety nine. Can't beat that. And then everybody's been telling me, watch Idle Hands. Watch Idle Hands. Well, I don't pretty, think I've ever seen it. It's okay. It's okay. pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Got some gory moments. In it. Oh it's yeah, it's like got a, some gory moments in it. A lot of comedy mostly. It's like a, a horror comedy kind of mm. thing, right? Okay. Yep. Cool. So everybody's been telling me, get it recently. I looked. I saw it at Amoeba a while back with a Wet Movie. 25 bucks on Blu-ray. Saw it here, 25 bucks on Blu-ray. And then I saw it for $5 on DVD. So if I like it enough that I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna drop some serious cash on it, which I, I doubt I'll be willing to spend 25 bucks on this movie, I'm trying to get the glare out of there. But if I do, then uh, maybe I'll use this as a giveaway on the channel or something like that. But uh, Idle Hands, you've been telling me to watch it, so I'm gonna watch it. There we go, it's gonna happen. Then, um, got Waxwork. And Waxwork 2, the two pack here, and so this was five bucks. I don't remember what they did, but it came out to twenty dollars. So that was really nice with tax and everything. So it was, it was a great price for all these movies. Uh, but this one might have been one of the free ones. But I have never seen these. And you said you've seen them? Yeah, I've seen the first and second one. The okay. first one's really good. They got a lot of different like monsters. It's kind of like they're in a wax museum, and then the exhibits come to life and stuff like oh, that. Okay, so you got like nice, nice. classic monsters like Dracula and. And the werewolf and everything. That's got some okay. gore in it, too. Oh. It's got some pretty good gore. Nice. Oh, that's from 88. Gosh, I wonder it was Zach Gallagher. And, you know, and like you said in there, uh, oh, the guy Gremlins. from Gremlins. Yeah, and had a chance to get his autograph at Monster oh, Blues cool. over the summer. But um, I was like, eh. No, I don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, so one and two. So that's awesome. We'll do a double feature night one of these days. Check that out. And then last, and uh, this... I, I guess it has not had a Blu-ray or 4K release, which now that I'm buying really? it, yeah, I couldn't find wow. it. Now that I'm buying it, get ready, because here it's going to come, The Warriors. Bum, bum, bum. And this was, you know, when we were at Creep by Econ last year, James Remar was there, 
and I got his autograph on, of course, my Dexter uh, picture. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, because I am all about Dexter. I do love this movie, like Dexter more. So that's that's the way I went with Dexter. But uh, yeah, watch me buying this. That'll that'll do it. It'll it'll come out on Blu-ray or 4K now. So that's what I got. I only buy movies here, and he was looking for. Oh. To get a copy of all of one franchise, and now this completes it Jaws, for you, right? Yep, yep. So what'd you get there today? You picked up a couple, right? So yep, I got Jaws, Jaws two, and Jaws three, and then uh, yep, I yeah. So I got the first Jaws and Jaws the Revenge. I actually found those at Goodwill. So yeah, I just wanted all the Jaws movies, and nice. I got each of these for five bucks a piece, which is not bad. That's no, a good price. that's not bad. No, no. You know, really cheap. Yeah. It's about a lot better than always trying to constantly look for it at Goodwill. <laughs> yes. No, and so to have them all, if that's a franchise you love, I'm with Oh, it. I love Jaws. There's some, like like the Saw franchise, I got to have all the movies. So, mm. you know, I do what I got to do. But uh, that's cool. You know, and here's the thing. You know, like some of these movies, maybe you can get on Blu-ray or whatever. Some, maybe not. Mm. Uh, but when you're talking about a movie from like the 70s, early 80s, something like that. Mm-hmm. How good's that quality going to be anyways, usually, oh, yeah. on the upgrades? So there's sometimes DVDs are okay. Even though newer movies, and if I'm buying, uh, a, a lot of times with the newer movies I buy, or the movies that have been upgraded, I will, you know, I've been going for the 4K now, just because oh. it, it does look great. But some of these movies, I'm guessing Waxwork, and like The Warriors, and Ice Pirates, eh, even if they have a Blu-ray, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Yeah, yeah. But uh, with that being said, that's going to do it. It's going to wrap up this video oh, here. Yeah. At least we finally found something to buy here to talk about mm -hmm. today because it was going to be a dud. I thought I was like, oh man. Yeah. So, anyways, but hey, if you know about these movies, give me your thoughts on them. And uh, here's a big question because I'm not really a fan. I'm the weirdo that's not a fan that bought the Richard Dreyfus autographed Jaws Funko. He's the mm -hmm. big Jaws fan, and so he has all the movies. <laughs> Um, yeah, or nay, who loves Jaws? Or what's your thoughts on that? But uh, about all these movies, let me know your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up button if you would. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.